Thomas Tuchel has been sacked by Chelsea, a decision a lot of people have been surprised by considering the summer window Chelsea did have bringing in a lot of players spending over £200 million but considering Thomas Tuchel's results in 2022 and Chelsea's performances over this year, I don't think it should be a surprise and according to Matt Law it's not just to do with results. Apparently Chelsea wanted a long term head coach, there was players were unhappy with the decisions the manager was making. So, there was clearly more to this sacking than just results. And listen, Chelsea have been linked with the likes of Maurizio Pochettino, who I think solves a lot of those issues. But I don't know how Chelsea fans will receive that appointment, considering he was a former Tottenham manager. Zidane has been another person linked with the Chelsea job. I think that would be a phenomenal appointment, considering how highly I rate Zidane. But at the same time, Chelsea do want a long-term head coach. Is Zidane the perfect man for that? Considering he's probably more of a manager that comes in now and wins, I'm not too sure. But listen, Zidane comes in, he demands respect from that dressing room, which is clearly divided and has some problems according to Matt Law. But in my eyes, there should only be one man. Todd Bowley has to be making the decision of appointing this certain English manager in the Premier League. And it seems like he might be doing that considering Graham Potter from Brighton is currently the favourite to take over at Chelsea. A manager that's massively overperformed at Brighton considering the funds he's had and the performances at that club considering a lot of those plays, a lot of people might not say are the best of quality, have been second to none considering in the 2020-21 season, Brighton finished fifth on expected points behind the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester City. But one concern I do have is that Graham Potter also had Dan Ashworth for a majority of that time at Brighton. And Dan Ashworth was a massive part of setting up the foundation for Graham Potter to succeed in terms of recruitment and the academy. But at the same time, let me not underestimate Graham Potter's ability as a coach, improving the likes of Basuma, Lewis Dunk, um, Pascal Gross, Solly March, Dan Byrne, who were already at the club before Graham Potter took over. And he could have a similar effect at Chelsea. Graham Potter has been known for playing a back three for majority of his Brighton career. he done it again in his last game against Leicester. And with Chelsea also playing a back three, it could be a very, very nice addition. Of course, Chelsea's back three is very, very different to Graham Potter's back three. You could argue Brighton's back three is a lot more fluid in this system. Their patterns of play from an offensive point of view are completely different. Even from a defensive point of view, Graham Potter's coach one of the best mid-blocks in Europe in my eyes. But listen, as much as people think Chelsea are a mess, Graham Potter will still enjoy this challenge in my eyes a lot, working with the likes of Cucurella, who's Brighton's player of the year before. And Chelsea overall in this squad still have plenty of talent with the likes of Wesley Fofana, big money sign, and he's still, what, only 21. They brought in Koulibaly, Thiago Silva, who was still one of the best centre-backs in the world and in midfield they still got the likes of Carney Chukunwemenka who in my eyes is still a phenomenal talent partnered with the likes of Reese James, Amanda Brogia, Sterling they still have plenty of talent in that squad but it will be a big ask replacing Thomas Tuchel who has the fourth highest win percentage at Chelsea behind Carlo Jose and Antonio Conte and listen Thomas Tuchel say what you want he's won UEFA culture of the year, won the Champions League, won the Super Cup, won the World Cup, uh, Club Cup it is going to be a very difficult ask replacing Thomas Tuchel. But listen, Graham Potter might be that guy and he might be the perfect man for the job. Only if Chelsea buy into Graham Potter's project, which they have to do in my eyes. But listen, I think a lot of people have been talking on Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel is still a quality manager, by the way. I don't think he had the right foundations to succeed at Chelsea throughout the last year because... Let's be honest, the football hasn't been great, but Thomas Tuchel will still get a job at another elite club. In my eyes, Juventus, I haven't been impressed with Massimiliano Allegri throughout the last year or so. I think Thomas Tuchel should be taking over there very soon. But listen, we'll see what happens. It should be a very interesting time for Chelsea with the appointment of Graham Potter potentially happening. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like the video, comment your thoughts on the sacking. And subscribe to the channel.